And welcome back, math masters, fourth graders. Rounding numbers like pros already. All right. Let's get started with our problem set. It is page uh, 29. Uh, 29. Huh. Yep. Page 29. Today's date is 08. 25, 2020. Okay, what we're being asked to do in this problem set is as follows. Let's set the old timer. It says round, round to the nearest thousand. Use the number line to model your thinking. So we're going to round to the nearest thousand and use the uh, number line to model our thinking. Well, we have 6,700. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 6,000 down here because we're rounding to the nearest thousand, not, and we'll put 7,000 up here. What's the midway point between 6,000 and 7,000? Well, if you've been paying attention, and I know you have, it's 6,500 because 500 is the midpoint between thousands, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600, 700, 800, 900, uh, 1,000. So right now we have 6,700. Is 6,700 greater than 6,500? You bet it is. So we're going to round this up to 7,000 because it's closer to 7,000 than it is to 6,000. Let's go over here to 9,340. 340. Set in. There's 9,000. There's 10,000. What's our midway point? 500 more, 9,500. Okay, what's our number? 9,340. Is that greater than 9,500 or less? Yeah, it's 9,340, so it's less. So what is it closer to? Is it closer to 10,000 or 9,000? If you said 9,000, you're absolutely correct. Let's go to the next problem. 16,401. Well, let's go ahead and make, it's either going to stay 16 or go up to 17. So we'll say 16,000 and up here 17,000. Okay, let's do the midpoint of 16,500. All right, and 16,401. Is that greater than 16,500 or smaller? It is smaller, right? Because look, there's 400s and that's 500s. So what are we closer to? If we're not above the midpoint, we're closer to the number at this end point, so 16,000. If you have the hang of this, feel free to go on. Our next number is 39,545. So I'm going to do 39,000 here. What will I do up top? At the top end point, we'll do 40,000, right? Because this is either going to stay 30, rounded to 39,000 or I'll be rounded to 40,000. So let's make our midpoint of 39,500. And look at our number, 39,545. Well, 39,545 is slightly greater than 39,500. So what do we do? We would round up because we're above the midpoint. All right, we'll continue on. Getting into six digit numbers now. 399,499. So I'm going to do 399,000. They're trying to be tricky here. And 400,000. Right? That's the next thousand. 399, 400,000. So let's do the midpoint of 399,500. And we're at 3,900, 499. Is 499 greater than 500? No, it's one less. Any, so it's one less this way, one more that way. So we would round down to 399,000. We'll go over here to um, 840,007. Hmm. So I'm going to go 840,000 down here. And 841,000 up top. What's my midpoint? 840,500. Right? 
So I'm at 840,007. That's almost 840,000, right? Only seven more. So of course we're going to round down to 840,000. Okay, let's continue on with the back side. We got some um, uh, word problems here, some very lengthy word problems. So it says a pilot wanted to know ab about how many, that means he's going to round, about how many kilometers he flew on his last three flights. So a pilot wanted to know about how many kilometers he flew on his last three flights. From New York City to London, he flew 5,572 kilometers. So I'm going to write that number down here. 500, 572 kilometers, km. Then, from London to Beijing, he flew 8,147 kilometers. 8,147 kilometers. Finally, he flew 10,966 kilometers, 996 kilometers from Beijing back to New York City. So 10,996 kilometers. Round each number to the nearest thousandth and then find the sum of the rounded numbers to estimate about how many kilometers the pilot flew. Because he doesn't want to give an exact number to his friends. He says, yeah, I just want to flew, flew this much. So this is either going to go up to 6,000 kilometers or down to 5,000. The midway point is 5,500. Is this greater than 5,500? It is, so we round up to 6,000. 8,147 kilometers. Now the midway point would be 8,500. Is this less than 8,500? Yes, it's 8,147. So we would get rounded to 8,000. Finally, 10,996 kilometers. Well, it's either going to remain 10 or go up to 11. And look, it's only 4 away from 11. So it's very close to 11,000. So we're going to put 11,000 here. And finally, it's time to add. I'm just going to do 11,000 plus 8,000, because I like to put in largest to greatest, uh, greatest to least, and 6,000. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 6 is 15. Bring over the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So now it's time to write. The pilot flew about, that's when we talk about rounding, it's about, it's not exact, about 25,000 kilometers, okay? I think we've got time for one more. Mrs. Smith class is learning about healthy eating habits. The students learned that the average child should consume about 12,000 calories each week. Carrie consumed 12,748 calories last week. So I'm going to put that number down, 12,748. Tyler consumed 11,702 calories in the last week, so I'm going to put 11,702. So it says round to the nearest thousand to find who consumed closer to the recommended number of calories. Use pictures, numbers, or words to explain. Well, the recommended number is 12,000. So who's closer to 12,000? Hmm, let's take a look. And we'll go ahead and do a number line. Let's do 12,748 first. I'm going to put 12,000 here, that's our goal, and then 13,000 up here, and 12,500 right here. Okay? So 12,748 would be put right around here, wouldn't it? It's greater than 12,500, so I'm going to put 12,748 right here. Now, let's do 11,702 to see if it's closer. So we do 11,000 down here, 12,000 up here, and 11,500 in the middle. Where would 11,702 go? Hmm, I think it would go right up here, wouldn't it? It's greater than 11,500, so 11,702. So which one is closer to 12,000? This is 700 away, so it would be rounded up to 13,000. This would be rounded up to 12,000. 
So it looks like Tyler um, is closer to 12,000. We'll write that down. Yeah, Tyler is closer to 12,000. So Tyler was closer to the recommended target calories. That's all the time we have for the um, problem set. I hope you enjoyed this math lesson. Rounding is something that takes a lots and lots and lots and lots of practice, which we will be doing tomorrow and the next day. So get prepared for more rounding. See you then.